And it is February 9th, 2016. Barbara Oswald on the left, uh, photographer and um, activist and owner of the Mount Baker Neighborhood Center for the Arts. That would be me. Visiting uh, here is um, Weiss, originally from Djibouti. And they're both with my works, which will be in the group show. I hope everyone who sees this in Seattle will come to one of the receptions, or both, or make it while the show is up through into, into March. How about a wave? <laughs> That's great. Thank this you. is the activist from South America. Brazil. Um, actually yeah, from Brazil, Brazil. yeah, yeah. Um, who was the rubber tapper. And this is the activist from Africa. Um, from Nigeria, Nigeria. and Ken Sarah, we will. both of them were um, environmentalists and uh, unfortunately both lost their lives um, for the movement and the cause that they believed in. Which is defending the land, defending people, and defending against environmental destruction. Yeah. Say it, what, say it again. And, uh, his, uh, name. his name was um, Ken, K-E-N, first yeah, name, King. an English name. Um, and his last name was two names with a dash in the middle, Saro Wiwa, S-A-R-O-W-I-W-A. -W -W so he was a writer. And he and I forget there were seven or eight other activists for the Ogoni people in the region where he was from. They were all executed by the military in 20 years ago, 1995. Wow. That's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I like uh, the whole make for here, I like uh, uh, Thai shoes, you know. Mm -hmm. But you see what this is also yeah. metaphorically, yeah. like a noose. Yeah. He was, they were hung. Yeah, there too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I think nice. they were hung. Yeah. yeah, this is more like a scarf kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So and uh, what do you mean? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. These uh, and, uh, these were from a drawing I did in Poland in 1985, but I had to disassemble. It was part of a mixed media artwork, and I disassembled it and saved all the drawing sections. And uh, I just, um, I numbered them here just to see how many there were, I guess. That one, that's this, this one I did new oh, for yeah. the drawing yeah. from a photo in a book about, um, about the Amazon of a yeah. butterfly. Yeah, and uh, his name, that's you, Chico? No, Chico Mendez was yeah, the name this, of this him, guy. Oh, the yeah. one who was murdered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he uh, proved in 1944. Uh, died in 1988. Yeah. He was uh, survived by his wife and children. Wow. He was only 44. Wow. So. Nice. Thank you, Weiss. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful walk. So uh, this is Talis Abelin, a neighborhood resident, also a photographer with a work in the show here at the uh, Mount Baker Neighborhood Center for the Art, Art for the Arts. And uh, I was explaining to him, or, or he was asking me questions about the Chico Mendez work. And um, your question was? Well, I was, I was looking at these numbers here. Oh, it reminded right. me of like a scientific oh, yeah. journal where somebody is cataloging plants or insects. So I was wondering what were the numerical? That's interesting. It makes me think of Darwin and his journals, you know. But actually, I had, I had um, and I'm going to talk about the correlation between um, genocides and ethnic cleansing and environmental destruction and people's inhumanity, people as they occur in different regions of the world and they all kind of overlap in different ways. In 1984, my first summer studies trip to Poland, I spent nearly a week in this town in southern Poland near the uh, Czech border, in the Tatra Mountains. And I did a, I did a um, landscape drawing, like a hillside, which became part of a artwork which was called Homage to Paviak Prison, Warsaw. It was an infamous prison in Warsaw built in the mid 19th century, which in its last years was used as a concentration camp and deportation center by the Nazis. Thousands of prisoners went through it, were killed there or murdered in camps. 
Anyway, it was a really large mixed media artwork, and I hadn't had it properly protected. It needed to be like in the one of these like enormous plexiglass boxes plus steel frames used to make. I remember I used to see shows at Forster White years ago. And anyway, I disassembled the whole work, saved all the drawing sections of it, and I had these last fragments remaining. I've used some of the other, other drawing fragments in two large, my other series is about the Holocaust, um, two large um, mosaic drawing combos. So all these, these particular fragments all worked really well to me aesthetically um, and cutting them up into shapes, the coloration, earth, and all that. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of them here, this is like, this, so I wrote this in Poland in 1984. Butterflies, bees, large spiders on paper, you know, sitting on this hillside in August 1984. And it, it just kind of fit. This I drew for the drawing from a book I'd gotten out of the library. International District Branch. I checked out a book on, like a children's book actually, on, on the Amazon in Brazil. I also did this from a book photo of, a, uh, of an Amazon um, like butterfly. Cool. Not from Brazil, but from a neighboring country. Anyway, it all kind of yeah. worked to me. Uh, jumping decades and time periods and continents, but why not? Well, you have a very, woven a very interesting, uh, rich, subtext into your art. That's interesting. So. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't wait for the, the opening. Great. We'll see you then. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so uh, this is the gallery for uh, people who visit. The show is up through uh, March 25th. It's the last day. So it's on the block where the um, Mount Baker Art Space building is. Um, Rite Aid and um, QFC are a block away that way. Lowe's Harder over there, Rainier. Just to give people who know this general area, Chevron, US Bank, Starbucks, uh, and um, MLK and Rainier uh, intersect right over there. So, uh, show. And uh, thank you for watching. And hours. Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 6. Monday and Sunday. Sunday when they close, but by appointment also to call Broadway.